Okay. Hi there. Um, I'm Peter Hages. Sorry I missed last week. I was feeling really, really sick. I could hardly stand, so I didn't think, I don't know, I wouldn't want to be wheeling around in a rolling chair around here and something like that, or just coughing and stuff. So um, I'm here to talk to you about a project. Uh, I know I talked to you guys at the beginning of the semester about a different project, but uh, switch. Um, so just like Tim Chambers thought that his talk was not the way to do a talk, um, my semester is not the way to do an ARCO sem uh, semester. Know exactly what you want to do when you start. So I've made up for it by just writing tons and tons and tons of different things. Um, the thing I want to talk to you about today is a project I've been working on for about a month or a month and a half called Scoop. Um, so Scoop is quite simply a new sticker for the Mac. So I don't know if you guys have ever watched like Bloomberg or CNBC or whatever, but they have that new sticker along the bottom. So there I was, sitting in the class. It's like 10.30 in the morning. And I'm exhausted. And all I want to do is I just want to see what's going on in the world. I want to read the news, but I don't want to sit there and actively interact with the computer because then it'll look like I'm not paying attention. So <laughs> this is how I got the idea for Scoop. So Scoop is a, a news sticker, uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, but it's a little more complex than you might think. So um, on the Mac, there's a UI framework called Coco, which is what all Mac apps are used to used to build their interfaces, uh, other than you know dodgy ones that are written in Java, all like native Mac apps. Use Cocoa. And on iOS, all native iOS apps use UIKit. Um, I write stuff usually for the phone um, because it's more, more fun, way cooler. But I want to write something for the Mac. And I found this really cool UI framework called TWUI, which is from the guys at Twitter. So um, Lauren Brichter, who's a Twitter employee, <coughs> wrote this Twitter client that's awesome. And he also re reinvented. Uh, you, well, well, it was there. <laughs> we reinvented the UI wheel kind of with regards to UI frameworks and sort of wrote a, a UI framework that's much more like UI kit, but for the Mac. And it's really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to talk about it more, and because my talk's really short, I'd like to give you guys something. There it is again. <laughs> a demo, really fast. Um, so we're just going to start Scoop, and I'm going to show you how it works. So this is my computer. Um, this is Scoop down here. Uh, it's going to have a much better icon. That's the default icon. I'm not that unoriginal. But um, we launch Scoop, and there it is. So uh, this right now, it's doing slash dot. And you see it just ticks along the top of the screen. Uh, you'll notice that it's right below the menu bar at the top. Um, and if we start an app, you'll notice that like the app draws under the window, because this is sort of a top level window. So that's it, right? Wow, Peter, nice job. You spent six weeks doing something that scrolls text across the screen. Right? Um, no, actually, it's it's more complicated than that. Um, uh, uh, Peter, uh, Android market. <laughs> <laughs> this is slash dot. I don't know anybody. Uh, Jeff Jeff recommended it. To me. Um, so, um, <laughs> so, so I don't agree with anything that's on here. Um, anyways, uh, when it's scrolling by and everything, you'll notice that eventually it'll scroll by the same story. So how is this happening? I'm not just sitting here scrolling text strings across the screen. That'd be really, really important. Um, I wrote something that other developers can use too. So um, on iOS, there's a scroll. There are things called scroll views, right? They're views that are larger than the frame of the screen that you can scroll through with your finger. Same thing on the Mac. When you you know scroll with your two fingers or with the mouse wheel with a web page that's twice the height of your display, right? You do this every day. Um, I wrote a, a class called Infinite Scroll View. So the thing is, is if we mouse up here, so uh, Let's take this story. Microsoft can remotely kill purchased apps. And let's just keep scrolling and see if we hit it again. And we will. That's the, the secret here. Um, so it's a, oh, I, I saw it there. Microsoft can remotely kill purchased apps. So this actually scrolls forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We could sit here and forever and ever and ever scroll, 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 Yes, absolutely. And then it'll scroll different items from different feeds. So the way this infinite scroll view works is when you as a developer tell the scroll view that you want a view to be there, it's a horizontal infinite scroll view, then what I actually do is lay out three of that view. And if you say that I want two views, I lay out you know, view one, view two, view one, view two, view one, view two. And then as the user scrolls, I monitor every single scroll event change. And if it makes sense that they're about to peel off the edge of that middle set of views, and they could hit the border, I secretly shoot them back to the beginning of the scroll view, but it's, it's impossible to notice because it monitors con content offset in real time and shoots it over. So it's some really, really fancy 
view magic, right? So your view looks like it just goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Really, it doesn't. It takes up very, very little space in memory, only slightly more than your view would anyways. But it scrolls infinitely, which is perfect for an app like this, right? So we're up here and it pauses. So we, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm working, you know, whatever, whatever. Oh, that, that story looks interesting. I move my mouse up, the scroll view freezes, and then we can get to that story, or if I missed something and I saw it, I can just peel back, and it'll scroll infinitely, obviously, in both directions. And so while writing this, um, I had a lot of considerations about how I would do it. Um, I thought that the easiest way, clearly, would be to implement the infinite scroll view just the way I need to use it, right? I only need views that are a certain length, I only need views that are a certain height. I should just implement my own internal thing, and that'll be, it'll take like an hour. But instead, I wrote something that's versatile for any app that links against TWUI. So as a developer, if you want to implement an infinite scroll view, and not have to go through the same scroll view fancy math that I did, you can just use my class, feed it views, talk to it like you would a regular scroll view, and that's it. You're done. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about making sure that it skips back the right way, and it'll signal up to your app the same way a regular scroll view does when the user does other things. So, um, that's a quick demo of Scoop. Uh, you can click these stories too to open them in the browser, but that's not very exciting. Um, and so I've been working on it for about a month and a half. Uh, it has a very, very simple use case, but I think it's really, really elegantly written. And it's a really, really cool Mac app. So I, um, this semester, I'm very proud to say that I learned TWUI, which is a really, really cool um, project and open source, so I could maybe contribute this back to them and then they could use it in their, uh, in their stuff. So um, that's the demo. I hope my thanks text doesn't flash up and go away because that'll look really bad. Um, it's gonna, I think. Thanks to Morthy, um, Sean O'Sullivan. <laughs> I, I have thanks for more than half a second, I promise. Uh, thanks to Morthy, obviously, for, um, for believing in someone who has had, uh, this is, I, Horrendously embarrassed by how my semester in Arcos has been. Um, thanks to Sean O'Sullivan, obviously, without whom this program would not exist. And thanks to all of you. This is uh, I've been in Arcos since my first semester sophomore year, and this is drastically more people. And I'm not going to say better projects to insult them, but way more better projects. I mean, this has just been a whirlwind change in Arcos. This is fantastic that we have these many people. Uh, and if you know people, who are even vaguely interested, you should tell them to show up, write <coughs> proposals, whatever. We could use as many people as possible. Um, so that's it. I'm really sorry that my text flashed up and went away. I stink at this Apple software. Um, so <laughs> if anyone has any questions or comments, I'd be more than willing to answer them. Yes? So why did you choose uh, TWI? I, I've seen, I think I've seen at least one other project that was aiming for a UI kit like uh, windowing on that. So what made you choose that one? Right, so uh, my views represent those of me and not of anyone else. Um, so there's another project called Chameleon, which re-implemented UIKit on the Mac. Totally just, or that's their goal, I don't know if they have actually done that, but it grounds up basically rewrite of UIKit on the Macintosh. So it feels just like a Mac app, or a, an iOS app, and you can take your existing iOS app and just build it on the Mac and it'll just work. Supposedly, I don't know. Um, but I thought that, that was a little bit too... It sort of discarded, right, you can't just take, just like you can't take Windows and slap a crummy touch layer over it and throw it on the tablet, or you know, on the desktop OS. You can't take a touch OS and just throw it on the desktop and ignore the fact that people have mouse cursors and that there could be hover events and that people have keyboards and, and it's a different layer of abstraction from the machine. Um, the reason why I chose TWUI over Cocoa is because uh, I just feel, I, I don't know, I, I thought it was cool. Um, and the Twitter for Mac app, if you've ever seen it, is really, really smooth and really, really well done. And I wanted to play with sort of that core animation style uh, view toolkit. I don't know if that answers your question. Uh, yeah, I, I was mostly concerned about it. So I'd seen that earlier. And it's just <coughs> yeah, I don't know who, I don't know if it's the Icon Factory or yeah, some other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's really cool. They're asking for a lot of money to, uh, to get things off the ground because it's a lot of development. But yeah, it's, um, that's a really cool project. That's open source too, I think. Yeah, along with PWI. Any other questions or comments? So if you guys want to try out Scoop, you should definitely grab it. It uses Git submodules and grabs TWI and all that stuff. And um, if you need a scroll view, you can use mine. All right, cool. Well, thanks a lot, guys.